All right, uh, so here are my two Dell PowerEdge R820 servers I use for my home lab. Um, typically, I'm testing VMware products, Hyper-V, Microsoft Server 2019, Active Directory, and you know, uh, more recently, Kubernetes. Uh, each has a dual Xeon E5-4620 processor running at 2.2 gigahertz with uh, eight cores apiece. Memories at uh, 256 gigs of uh, DDR3 memory. The only resource it's lacking is in disk IOPS. So it's currently running ESXi on an internal USB flash drive. Um, the data store used for VMware is running off of Perk H710 controller with 512 megs of cache. It's running RAID 5 um, with 5 10K SAS disks. Um, what I wanted to try was using an inexpensive $14 PCIe card off Amazon that'll allow me to use an existing M2 uh, NVMe SSD drive I have. Um, I'd like to use that as a VMware data store. Um, I'll use the old uh, VMware IO Analyzer appliance to get some before and after numbers. Um, oh, and I'll also grab uh, some power figures from the iDRAC2. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is how it arrives from Amazon. It's as generic as you can possibly get. All right, so it looks like it does come with the standard and uh, low profile brackets. Uh, we have the card itself. Oh, screws to attach the bracket and the M.2 card to the card. SATA cable in case you go that route, uh, that option. Yeah, this is kind of nice, a little tool to fasten the screws. All right, let's put it together. All right, I'll spare you guys from watching me fumble with all the screws. So uh, with the R820, we're using the standard size brackets. Um, one thing I did notice was the screws provided with this kit are a bit long. So uh, just be careful. Make sure that nothing's in its way when you insert the uh, card. And as far as uh, installing the drive, uh, very simple. You just slide it into the slot right here and then just screw it down on this end. All right, let's insert the card. All right, so the first thing I did was I removed the power cables, the network cables, and the uh, cables associated with the keyboard, video, and mouse. And to remove the PCI cage, all you have to do is lift up on the chassis. Yeah, unfortunately, I just don't see myself uh, getting a 10 gig network for my home lab anytime soon. So we'll start off by removing the original card. All right, and then now let's just insert the new card Next, let's reinsert the cage back into the server. All right, let's button her back up and see what uh, we get. All right, so the good news is, is uh, ESXi did recognize the NVMe SSD drive. Uh, the bad news is it did require a reinstall of the OS. It just would not pick up the drive uh, from the original install. You know, that said, uh, just did a fresh install. And then when you go into storage, uh, new data store, create new VMFS data store. Yes. 
give it a quick name and uh, VME01 and we're gonna take up uh, all the space use it all up for VMFS let's click finish uh, a little warning that everything will be erased on that drive which is okay All right, and here you go. Here's your uh, fresh and new uh, data store. All right, let's install a VM and do some uh, testing in regards to IOPS. Stay tuned. I am absolutely amazed by the performance of this PCIe card and the uh, SSD drive. Um, ran the exact same tests. Uh, the workload spec is um, 4K, 50% read, 100% random. And the IOPS shot up to uh, over 54,000. And the read-write IOPS is over 27,000 each. And just as comparison, so here are the results uh, before. Uh, exact same uh, appliance specs. Uh, IOPS was only a little bit over 1,000. And read and write IOPS were also just a little bit over uh, 500. And when we take a quick peek at the power, uh, just did a quick reboot, uh, ran the I.O. test, and uh, looks like it peaked at about 130, and then now it's uh, trending at about 98 watts. And in comparison, uh, with the five spinning disks and, oh, I also removed that one uh, 10 gig uh, network card. Uh, during the reboot, it shot up to about 150 watts, and um, running the tests, uh, it was about uh, 140 watts. So uh, just removing those two items, uh, we dropped about uh, 40 watts. So overall, very happy with this card. Um, I'll put a link of the product uh, in the description below. And uh, if you like what you see, please click like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.